When we had last left Harrier Dubois, he and Lieutenant Kim Kitsuragi had seemingly finally wrapped up all of their loose ends around Martinez and were ready to set sail. Yes, indeed, they had lit an enormous fire in front of the Whirling and Rags. They had gone, around, gone along and around, spoken to every single person possible, gotten information on the islet that they intended to set sail out for, heard of a cocaine skull and uh, all sorts of fun stuff, including reading a Dick Mullen book. And now it was time to, well, not set sail, to, I don't know what you would call it, to skiff on over to said island. This is Disco Elysium. Welcome back. Let's do it, man. It really feels like we're about to end the fucking game, right? We have all these tasks, though. I don't know. Like, some of these, like, have we just failed them, or what? I, don't, I guess we haven't failed them, because it would list it as... Like, this cancelled. Huh. Like, have we not missed the window? Well, maybe once we do this, it will... be listed as... cancelled? After, once we get up there? Hmm. Like, I, I do expect, like, find all armor pieces. Part of me is expecting, like, an armor piece to show up. On the island, right? Okay. Let's do it. Click a Roo. Roo A72 motor skiff. A skiff with a small steering engine in the back floats on the calm mirror of the sea. Its two seats are empty. Inland Empire trivial success. Once you get in, that's it. One pull of the starter handle and you're off into the bay. A strange trepidation comes over you. Are you sure you want to go now? I mean, I'm pretty sure. I think we looked at literally everything we could, right? Yeah. I mean, maybe we'll have another fucking... What do you call it? Um, cryptozoology bungle again, right? How do you think that ends? Probably after the we're through here. I should look it up, because I feel like maybe we'll, like, at the end of that, you would have found, or at least have, like, heavy hints of a cryptid, right? Given, you know, the state of the world. All right, continue. Logic, trivial success. Remember what the net picker said. It's a small tank. You won't be going back and forth on this. You take the engine, Kim. I'll hold the boombox. <laughs> <laughs> Get in and ride to the island. I'm not ready yet. Leave. Oh, do you think he would be interested in taking the engine? Maybe he would be interested in that. Okay, sure. You take the engine. I'll hold the boombox. What? What what? How else do we blast... How else do we blast Sad FM on our way to the island? You heard me. Don't make me repeat myself. Say nothing. What what? How else do we blast sad FM on our way to the island? Fine. He gives you a resigned shrug. Let's blast sad FM then. Get in and ride to the island. What the fuck is gonna happen? Are we gonna like- How dark is this gonna be? Are we gonna both die on this fucking island and that's the end? Oh, that instrumentation, we've heard that somewhere.
Do you think if we never got everyone inside the church, they'd be there watching us right now? Like a cell? This is the sad music. That's where we've heard this. What's going to happen? Are we going to die? Jesus, this is so sad. Oh my god, is this setting the mood for something really bad about to happen? The boat comes to a slow stop. The lieutenant turns the engine off. Then, there's silence. Perception hearing, medium success. In the silence, a sputter of wings. A flock of quails takes off in the distance. Man, that sounded like some really rock-heavy quails. Look at this, there's some sort of, like, fuel leaking. Good lord, is it gonna catch on fire? Shivers medium success. There is very little wind here today. The ghost is standing still. You look at your arms, then the cliffs above you. Task complete. Go to the island. 10 XP. Let's go. He whispers. Climb out. Holy shit! Oh. Oh, can we just go back immediately if we wanted? Huh. Okay. I guess we got updates and stuff. Yeah, done. Go to the island. Right. Okay. Let's quick save. In case I, like, immediately get fucking blasted. What's this? A makeshift bridge. The bombs were powerful enough to break the foundation. The rusted chain trails off into the ocean. Oh, this is new ambient music. Motor orb. Interfacing. The chain trails off into the ocean, connecting the island to the supply depot on the coast. Point to it. This leads to the depot in Land's End. The lieutenant looks at the mechanism overhead. Ah, yes, so it seems. What do you think it was used for? For bringing munitions to the island, maybe, and supplies. You could also lock the bay when you raise the chain. Oh. Visual calculus medium success. As a defensive measure, locking off that side of the bay. Wait, so was there not actually a bridge thing that it raised and lowered? Or maybe that's what it means for munitions? Oh no, you probably just move them on the pulley, like on the chain, right? I think, did I just like completely imagine and make up the, the like bridge thing? <laughs> Lock it from whom? Five XP. From enemies. He looks up ahead. Enemies of the commune of Ravishal. This sea fort 
was a revolutionary fortification, I believe. Sorry, let me adjust my my mic here a bit. Sorry, it's moving. All right, finish thought. So should we go up or down? Hmm. Maybe up first? Yeah, look. I'm being drawn up here. Well, but then maybe that means I should go down, right? Should I use my video game intuition and not go the way that I'm... My first instinct is? I don't know. See, because now I feel like I'm being drawn over this way? Oh no, okay, I can't walk over here. These tires are falling apart. They're at least 50 years old. Oh jeez, I didn't almost even see it there. Okay. I thought the entire, like, obelisk or whatever was a tire. Yeah, I can't even get over to this side. But there's an orb. Okay, we must have an access point over there. Zoom in. Oh, the really sad song is also partially playing the <gasps> part. These stairs feel ancient. Soldiers' feet ran up them long ago. Right, we're getting more back into... Like some of the game's primary themes or whatever of like history in the past because i guess yeah this is theoretically a place mostly untouched motorics there's a lingering trace of mazout in the air attention inflammable which also means flammable <laughs> right careful there lieutenant some fuel has leaked out of the barrel. Black. Viscous. Alright. Good lord. Despite there not being any, like, actual combat, I'm like fucking... <laughs> you know, like, traditional combat, I'm like tensed up a little bit. Physique. Warm air. From the inside of the building. It's warmer there than out here. Okay. Can we go up these? It's like slabs of concrete. Now look. The, uh, inverted five-point star and the antlers. This barrel says ICM. You see a star with little specks in it. Ooh. Int. Encyclopedia. ICM. This feels familiar, somehow. Kim, what is the ICM? RCM. It sounds like RCM, Ravishal Citizens Militia. A white star. Point to the star in the label. Are those specs stars too? Looks old. What's it still doing here? Finished thought. It's a little wigged out there. All right. I think we can just exhaust this. Kim, what is the ICM? Insulindian. Citizens Militia. It's the official name of the Communards Army. The Black and White Army of the Revolution. Sounds an awful lot like... RCM. It sounds like RCM. Ravishal Citizens Militia. It does. Why? The RCM may descend from the ICM. May? 5 XP. It's impossible to say. He looks toward the darkened doorway. It was chaos after the war. The name was good for getting people to join us. Ravishal West was mostly workers and criminals. Rhetoric, medium success. Nice political thoughts rush through your neocortex. Endurance, easy success. A mediocre athlete would pant from dragging around his body on a busted crutch. But not you. You're thinking about politics, with blood dripping down your thigh. What I'm hearing is we descend from the glorious revolutionary army. It's a little embarrassing in 51, no? Oh, never mind. I thought we were in 52. Maybe we need a rebrand? Just catch your breath. 
What I'm hearing is we descend from the glorious revolutionary army. There were all sorts of groups and group puscules back then. It doesn't really matter. He bows to inspect the barrel. A white star. Point to the star on the label. No. He looks at it. An upside down star. Encyclopedia with its horns in the sky. The symbol of the commune. Are those specks stars too? No. That's the uninhabited archipelago. A DeLorean era symbol of Insulind, known as the face in the sea. Looks old. What's it still doing here? After, he thinks, 44 years. That's not nearly enough to hide what happened here, Lieutenant Yefrider. One of these barrels was still leaking fuel, as you saw. The city is full of things like this. Old bullets, guns, fuel. Finish thought. Can I go over here? It looks like it. I feel like maybe we should save the inside of this, but I don't know. No way to get up there. The stairs are gone. The little birch from the coin-operated viewer. Still holding on. Okay, yeah, we can't get over there. We have to pass through the building. Police work is tough. Take breaks. Talk to strangers. Explore. Very fitting that I wore my... My Ushanka. Alright. What in the world is this? This must be part of the pulley system, huh? Fuck, it looks cool as shit. This was once an armament rest. Oh. Twin cannons were attached here. Medium distance. Large caliber. They weren't enough. We got a level? Yep. Still getting XP from orbs. I was mistaken. We still have that. Thank goodness, there's a bunch of fucking orbs. Careful. These stairs have collapsed. What's that? Can I look at that? Oh, I have to go around. Gotcha. Oh shit, look at this. Oh, a little nest. Okay, let's look at these orbs first, right here. Books. Mostly fantastique and historical fiction. Right. From someone living out here. Dishes. Stained with sauce and fire. A survivor's kitchen. Right, because books and, like, certainly sauce would not survive that long, right? Even even though 40-something years isn't that long away, right? There would have been creatures and stuff to, like, come by and desecrate it. What's this thing? Big turbine. Microgrid generator. An old cylindrical generator is nested above the ammo lift, with makeshift electrical wiring running out of its side and across the floor. The cables disappear into the wall to your right. The lieutenant puts his hand on the metal barrel, checking for warmth. It's cold now, he concludes. But so but someone has been maintaining it. The wiring has been repaired. Pour fuel into the tank. Where did I get fuel from? From, um... Good lord, I can't even check. But from... Remember very early on? From, like, Cindy? Where do these wires lead? Should I just pour in? Should I just do it? Eh, fuck it, let's just do it. Yeah. The lieutenant assists you, holding the canister up to the fuel tank as you tilt. Dark, brown, viscous fluid pours out, and the room fills with a chemical smell. There's a red starter switch on the side of the cylinder, and a start rope on the other side. The lieutenant flicks the switch. Pull the rope. Ooh. 
Ooh. Ooh, it's still building up? Nope, there it is. The recoils wakes the old generator up. The machine sputters like an old war horse before settling down to a rattle. Yeah, secret task complete. Find fuel for the generator. 10 XP. Where do these wires lead? He looks down at the wall socket. Downstairs somewhere. Tap on the side. The tank is far from full, but there should be enough inside to keep it going for a day. Leave. Okay. Resting place. Spring mattress. There's a greasy old spring mattress in the corner, resting on piles of soft cover books. White linen and a pillow are visible under a worn out, caracool blanket. Someone has been squatting here. The lieutenant inspects the bed. The linen is fresh, recently washed. How recently? Pain threshold, easy success. You force out the rest of the sentence. You force the rest of the sentence out through pain. Thick as molasses, no longer able to hear yourself speak. New task, rest in the flak tower. You know, officer. He looks at you with a touch of concern. You can rest here if you're feeling tired. I will keep watch. You could use some rest for what's ahead. Huh. Can I come back and rest? Because I would like to actually look at some of this other stuff. I don't want it to, like, go away. Hmm. Yeah. No time to rest now. Yes, anytime. If you need a rest later, it's okay by me. Esprit de corps, trivial success. You don't have to be a hero. Okay, and then we can come back to this, right? Double check. The greasy old spring mattress lies in the corner, fresh linen under the heavy caracal cover. The offer still stands. He says, looking out the pillbox window. Take it. You don't look so good. Endurance, easy success. The bed is quite inviting, all things considered. It's much warmer inside than out there. Okay, not yet, though. I definitely want to look around this interior at the very least. You see candles planted on a broken rangefinder. Reading materials. Books and magazines lie scattered on the floor. And on a makeshift cupboard. They are not particularly well organized. Sift through them. Most are soft covers, serialized fantastique, and detective stories from the 20s and 30s. This disparate digest includes the classic Animal Adventures. Among what is mostly commercial fiction and serialized stories, you find a magazine cathodique for electrical engineering. Then it's back to pulp, light, erotica, and international thriller about circuit benders. Someone's made themselves a home. The lieutenant inspects a soft cover. Conceptualization Heroic 15. Does anything stand at, out as unusual? Plus one, all things communist. Huh. Okay, well, let's leave. We can pump up our conceptualization a little bit. Should we look around a bit first? Before we do that, we may get a bonus. A moth-bitten bedsheet keeps the wind out. Oh my god, by the way, also. Fuck. I should have my gun. There we go. By the way, I almost forgot. A while back, I was remarking, like, do I even have bullets? Yeah, we have three bullets. I don't remember when I got them. But yeah, someone even left a comment saying as much that, like, yeah, the three bullets are, have always been here on the UI for a while now. I don't remember when I picked them up, but nonetheless, we should probably have our gun for this, just in case. What is this? Army Surplus Winter Scarf. Plus two empathy. Minus one composure. Huh. Let's at least read it. 
Plus two empathy. Plight of the underclass. Minus one composure. Sucks to be poor. This towy old scarf itches when wrapped around the neck. It has humanitarian aid written all over it. Yet, you know that thousands all over the Isola are suffering the same fate as you. The fate of uncomfortable army surplus scarves. Tragic. And I'm s assuming this will go over our neck area. Should we? I mean, do I need to pump up my empathy even higher than it already is? Hmm. Empathy of 10. I mean, do I need that, though? Especially since we lose out on our cool look, right? 10 versus 8. I don't know, maybe we should. Nah, let's go for, for the fun look, right? What's the worst that could happen? How about this? Fallen Arrower shirt, plus one hand-eye coordination. Hey look, we finally have a Fallen top for our set. Let's see, Fallen Arrower shirt, plus one hand-eye coordination, sleeveless aim. Oh yeah, it only has one sleeve. This Fallen Training shirt has seen one wash too many. It retains its unusual design. One sleeve short, the other long. But little of its original colors. A giant F swishes across its chest, now in gray. Okay. Let's see. Oh, it's an undershirt. Aren't there re real um, shirts that have one long sleeve, one short sleeve? I don't know. I want to say I've seen them before, never in real life, but I, th I want to say I've seen them before in like another game with like a quasi-modern setting. I want to say I've seen them in like Dead by, not Dead by Daylight, Dying Light, but I'm not sure. God, let's quick save again. I'm sure we're fine inside of this interior, right? What have we got over here? Magnesium. Money. More magnesium. An orb. This great blast door must weigh over 10 tons. Rust peels off it. What's this? Doorway? Small blast door. You see a small metal door nested inside a larger one. A heavy steel blast door. There is a conventional keyhole above the handle. It's very small. What's on the other side? Another part of the island, probably. The lieutenant looks into the keyhole. The lock looks like it could still be usable. How do we open this? He looks at the door, then at its bigger brother, then at the lock. Maybe this is one of the doors we don't open. Interfacing medium success. He's right. It would be better to open its big brother. A powerful engine hangs under the ceiling. It must control the blast door. You're right. We open the big one. Do you see controls anywhere? I find us not opening it highly unlikely. Sure, you're right. We don't have to open it. You're right. We open the big one. New task. Open the blast door. I think there's a console just southeast. He shuffles his feet to stay warm. Let's look around. Getting the blast door open seems like the best plan. Leave. Okay, yeah, because there's definitely some weird... Oh, this is the exit, it looks like? From the interior? Okay. Going over here. What have we got? Oh, this also goes out? Okay. Let's see. What's up with this? Feld Insular Console. Okay. Green paint flakes off the monoblock alu aluminum cabinet. There are rows of switches on the front panel, a frequency band, and even a key card. Okay. Well, we should hold off on that. I feel like that's the last thing we should do is open the doors, right? Because that seems like absolutely the way we're meant to go. This hatch is jammed shut. Motorix. Water rushes below. Far down below. 
Okay. And look. We can look at this step. Oh, there's money and magnesium here. Weird that we're still getting money, right? Huh. Okay. Maybe it's just a fake out? The magnesium and healing stuff, that, that makes sense to me, right? Okay. Let's see. Over here, of course, another big poster of Kraz. Let's see, should we try this conceptualization check? Let's see. It was conceptualization, right, and not visual calculus? Let's do a quick look. Yeah, conceptualization. Okay. Let's see, what do I have that gives me bonuses? We already have one. Let's see, let's just run through here. Oh, there we go. Samarizian lounge jacket. Vizcal. Oh, this thing. Huh. Okay. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Tripping balls. Okay. I feel like I'm always so keen. Oh, right. The Kingdom of Conscious. That's the, um, moralist, like, centrist thing. Of course, because they're, they're like khaki pants, I guess. They're just inoffensive or whatever. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Visual calculus, drama. Let's see. Hmm. No. Okay. And it's not so much that, that the khaki pants are inoffensive, but they're, like, almost painfully inoffensive of a, like, thing to wear, right? <laughs> Especially if you wear it with your favorite, uh, white polo shirt. Okay. Let's see. Let's go up to... this shit. Here we go. 17%. I don't know if I want to expend a point here, though. Right? We'll see if we if we get lucky. Nope, nothing. Conceptualization, heroic failure. Let's see. Not that you can tell. This is a digest of someone who's dead bored. Most of it is for entertainment purposes. Fittingly, right next to the radiola on the floor. Nothing? Nothing out of the ordinary? Okay. Nothing? Maybe it's a little old fashioned. There's a nude mag. More than that, you can't say. Visual calculus, medium success. Huh. The print in some of these is pretty small, though. This person has good eyesight. Oh. Right, and isn't this a rangefinder? But this would be pointed the wrong direction, though, wouldn't it? This is pointed, like, northeast. Yeah, the direction on this rangefinder or whatever is completely wrong. And it looks like it's locked inside of here. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Let us equip. Oh, God. Here we are. Maintain our amazing look. I'm very hesitant to sleep, right? I almost feel like we should make that the second to last thing that we do. Right before we open the main door, right? Should go out here. Because we'll get restored all of our stuff, right? It's like, <laughs> it's our pre-end game heal up or whatever that the game is giving us. As well as all the healing items around here. Okay, let's do a quick save. Good. Look around out here. Short on money, equip a plastic bag. Collect bottles and sell them at Freet. Alright. Can I look at this? No. Okay. A firing slit. You can't see inside. Okay. It's over here. It must have been a direct hit to take out such a huge chunk. Hmm. Motorix. The distant sound of cargo ships. Signal horns echo on the water. Gosh, is this actually the way to go? I don't know. Open the blast door definitely seems like it, right? Jesus Christ. I hope I'm not going the right way.
It kind of fucking feels like I'm going the right way, though. <laughs> Can I go all the way out here? Wow. Kind of romantic. Alright. Over here. Let's see. There's some sort of weird chain or whatever. Good lord, look at this. This totally seems like the way I'm supposed to go now. <laughs> Maybe I should turn around? What's up with this? The winch is broken. Rust has eaten what remains of the chain. I mean, if anything, this music is pretty, like, upbeat compared to most of the music, right? This isn't, like, this isn't ultra sad. The pain in your pelvis makes you wince. Then, you continue. Shit, I should probably rest, shouldn't I? This seems bad. The inside of the fortress. You make out the console and the blast door. Should I really go up here? Oh god. Oh no, look, it's a dead end. Okay. Oh look. And here's more gas. Okay, so if we- man! So we were able to use that shit with- from Cindy to fill it. I guess this is if you just never encountered Cindy, right? Because I guess that's entirely optional, right? Okay. L-U-M fuel canister. Let's see here. Let's examine it. Get our Dark Souls text. Yeah, this, right? This is what we used? The banged up fuel canister? Okay. L-U-M fuel canister. Wow, it's worth a lot. 13.9? There is still some fuel in this old battered canister. A liter or two. The metal looks decades old. The logo of the automotive, automotive manufacturer L-U-M has faded on the side. Actually, it said that we used this canister to fill it up, right? Huh. Maybe it's a bug typo or something? What's this? A weathered artillery map showing coordinates in the Bay of Ravishal. An old medicine cabinet, newly stocked with drowamine. Huh, let's grab some. Man, yeah, it's giving us a lot of healing items, huh? Disconcerting. Mattress nest. There's a rain-soaked mattress on a concrete slab, only half covered by the crumbling roof. At the head of it, double embrasures. Firing slits, like two eyes in the wall. This looks like a good place to aim from. The lieutenant looks around. He steps closer with his hand on his gun. Inspect the mattress. A single person mattress, modern, civilian use. Brand name, Marjorie. There's a fuel stain on the cover, along with cigarette burns. Perception sight. Medium success. And an empty can of beans on the ground next to it, filled to the brim with cigarette butts. Pick one out of the can. Perception sight. The silhouette of a tobacco picker adorns the paper filter. The brand? Tio Mutiri. I saw the same brand of cigarettes extinguish in Land's End. Did I? I, I don't even remember that. Point West. Someone's been smoking Tio Mutiri cigarettes. I guess let's bring it up. I don't even remember that. 5 XP. Could be a coincidence. Or, the same person has visited Land's End. And, he looks around. Here. I didn't see any signs of smoking inside, though. If people live there, they keep it tidy. This may also be a smoking spot. Right, this may be, um, what's her name's Lillian's husband's place where they come to drink and all that. Inspect the wall. There's a firing slit in the wall in front of you, like a little window. Touch the concrete first. Quite old and grimy from years without cleaning by anything other than the rain. Look through the hole in the concrete.
The springs screech as you lean on the mattress and crane your neck out to look. Inland Empire, easy success. Trepidation. A tingling feeling in your stomach. Oh. Oh, shit. Here we go. A small piece of the Martinez coastline opens up in the square in front of you, like a tiny landscape painting, one kilometer across the water. The ruins look familiar. On the left, a towering skyscraper, its top floor shaved off by artillery fire. Capeside Apartments, Rue de saint Lane, 33A and 33B. On the right, the red chimney and collapsed back of the four-story tenement in front of the whirling in rags. Rue de saint Lane 10, the doomed commercial area. Is this reactivity as well? Because what if? Because you could get through the game to this point, right? Without acknowledging it as the doomed commercial area. Like this, this is probably reactive text right here. And between the two, The box-shaped silhouette of the whirling in rags, its sloped roof, a tiny fleck of light catches your eye on the rooftop. Sunlight, reflecting off the upstairs window of Claus's room. Oh shit, what if, um, what if we were here at night? Huh. Motherfucker. There it is. I can't be a hundred percent certain, but... Motherfucker. What does that mean? Do you have line of sight to the window? Yes. There's an opening between 33A and 10. I can see to the roof. I can see it. He nods. Through the scope of a rifle, the shooter would be prone, lying on the mattress barrel resting on the embrasure. Task complete. Determine where the shot came from. 70 XP. Level up. He pats you on the back. Three small pats in a row. I think we have it. The origin of the shot. This is the sniper's nest. Visual calculus medium success. Affirmative. Finally. Better late than never. Why why didn't we come here before? Booyah, master cop work. I mean, because it was such a long shot, right? But I'm curious what he'll say, right? Why didn't we come here before? Why? We don't go everywhere in a thousand meter radius of the crime scene. That's not procedure. You're right. Seven people are dead. We could have prevented it. Mmm. I mean, he is right, but I like this because it makes it sound like, you know, I'm still feeling, like, shitty and bad about what went down. It's still weighing heavily on me. Let's go with that. Damage morale. Don't beat yourself up, officer. We did not put guns in their hands or get them drunk. Empathy, easy success. The lieutenant pauses. Regret comes over him. He looks north, over the fortification, then adds, We will make up for it. Here. I feel it. Could the shooter still be here? Where? He looks behind his back. In Martinez. On this island. Right here. Point at the mattress. <laughs> Do we want something more serious or something more fucking goofy? Right here. Point at the mattress. You think so? He whispers, pointing to the mattress. We would see them if they were here. But. He lowers his voice again. This island, on the other hand. You think he's here? Or she. He almost whispers. We should move. Turn away. God, are we going to encounter them on the way back down? What happens if I interact with this again? Anything new? Okay, same thing. Turn away. 
Good lord, let's quick save. <laughs> I'm nervous. God, what if I fucked up the order of operations? And I should have rested in the bed and opened the door first. Oh. Psyche. You feel eyes on your back. Someone's watching. But you can't say from where. Oh, fuck. Yeah, because there's no way that they... That we came in here stealthily, right? I mean, for God's sakes, not only did we... Are we, like, walking around in broad daylight, but we turned on the giant motor engine thing, and we came here on a boat, right? If they're, like, some keen-eyed super sniper, then they definitely know what the fuck is up, right? There's no way they didn't see us coming on the fucking skiff. All right, let's go on inside. They're in here waiting. Oh my God, I'm like creeping myself out. <laughs> All right. Oh, you know what? When we nap here, this is going to be the last dream, isn't it? This is totally going to be the last dream of the game. If this is the end game, or the end of the game here, and the game ends on this island, when else would we have the opportunity to have the final dream that's been teased all this time? This is fucking it. We're going to fall asleep and have the final dream. Oh shit, all right. When next we come back, we're going to sleep because this will probably take a while, right? I'd assume, I mean, I guess maybe it'll be a short one, right? And it'll just be horrific, right? But the first one, was really cool and took a long ass time. But when next we come back, nonetheless, we're going to snooze and then we're going to go out there and face the murderer, I guess, maybe. <laughs> Until next time, please take care of each other. <laughs>